Hi everyone, hope you're well. I've got a bit of a different view for you today. This is in a little park next to Westminster. Nice quiet spot next to the river. So you can see that side view of Westminster Abbey and maybe you can see Big Ben just in the middle there behind. Still has got the scaffolding halfway up, but the actual clock um, is looking really nice, shiny and gold in the sunlight today. And that is the side of the clock that says the accurate time, so 3.25. Okay, I just want to talk a little bit about the Freedom March that I went on today, um, the London Freedom March. So there were definitely less people than usual, but I think that was to be expected. I think, you know, as restrictions ease in an obvious way, um, less and less people will turn up. So there were less people, but I still think it was a good turnout and, um, you know, it made a clear point that we are still fighting for freedom and um, yeah it was good to be part of it. I did jump off though once it crossed the river. Um, it didn't really go through central London. I wondered if that was not to overshadow protests about Russia and Ukraine and create a kind of bad image for our cause because I know there was a protest at Downing Street um, about the uh, situation in Ukraine as well. So yeah that was today. Um, so I'm on my way home, but I've just stopped in here um, to record this message. I'm trying to read the energy at the moment, but it's just so big and we're so in the middle of so much drama. It's actually difficult. But what I am getting through, first of all, is an image of like a big, dark kind of circle that represents a huge amount of energy in the air at the moment and inside it there are different coloured streamers so each kind of coloured streamer represents a different overshadowing drama at the moment but they're inside this dark circle which shows they're all part of the same overall situation. Um, so I asked what is actually happening at the moment and the message I got through was that it is disorientating and um, I think it has, you know, for a lot of us, I know definitely me since Christmas, it has felt quite disorientating and I've not quite felt the same enthusias enthusiasm for everything and had quite the same amount of energy to put into everything. And, you know, that's okay. When you feel like that, you don't push it. So I also got the message that, okay, so it's disorientating, it's tiring, but it's also necessary. And what's happening at the moment represents a breakthrough. So do remember the idea of a breakthrough. If you ever think you're breaking down or something's breaking down, think of it more like you've got as far as you can in a situation and it has to change. And that is the breakthrough. So I'm also being asked to talk about the power of the mind. So we know that our thoughts, um, conscious and subconscious, create our external reality. And that's on an individual basis and like a collective basis as well. So mass negative thinking that we've had creates a kind of psychic storm cloud and that grows and grows and it needs some kind of release. Like when a cloud gets so full of moisture, it just has to release it as rain. So what's happening at the moment is this release of built up negative energy in a huge negative event and that represents a breakthrough for the collective. So all of this stuff at the moment represents this kind of psychic storm of build up of negative energy and it will leave a clean slate, but it needed to build to this point and kind of run its course in order to, to do that. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. Let me see anything else. Um, just the idea of attachment. So just a reminder, and it's an idea from Buddhism, um, to let, when you let go of particular attachments and attachments to particular outcomes, you actually then relax and feel a lot happier because you're free of this fixation on one particular outcome and it takes the pressure off and it opens up a space for other possible outcomes which could be even better than what you were hoping for. So it's just a reminder of that idea. Okay, so I'm going to head home now. I'll put up some footage from the march as well. I know there's another one at Parliament Square. I'm not sure if it's a march or just a gathering on the 19th of March. And I wonder if that might um, kind of be the end of this big kind of march protest movement around this issue. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I will keep you posted. 
Okay, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye everyone.